to install PG admin on your Ubuntu operating system, you can go to your favorite browser once again and then search for install PG admin. And the first link which will appear here will be from pgadmin.org. So I'm going to click on this uh, link here and uh, straight away I can see this download button. Click on that and then I can scroll down and then here I can choose uh, what do I want, right? So I am on Ubuntu. So here I will use this apt command. So I'm going to click on apt here and then you can see all these uh, Debian related uh, uh, distributions here. So for me, I want to install Ubuntu from my 22.04 uh, 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 operating system. So you can see it will work for all these platforms, right? So here, these are the commands to install uh, PG admin. So let's execute them one by one. So this is the first command. Let me uh, open the terminal. Let me open the next tab in the terminal and then paste this first command, which is the curl command. And then you can see the curl is not found on my system, right? So in order to install curl, I can use snap or I can even use the apt to install curl. For now, I'm going to give this uh, uh, sudo apt install curl command. So I'm going to just give sudo apt install curl and then press enter give my uh, ubuntu password which is going to install the curl right curl is the utility which you can use to download some packages so once curl is installed i'm going to clear the terminal copy the first command once again from here and paste it in my terminal which is the curl command and now it's successful once that's done, I can uh, copy the second command, which is to create the repository configuration file and paste it to, into the terminal, press enter, and it will also be successful. Once that's done, it's the time to install PG admin. At the time of making this video, the PG admin 4 is the latest version. I'm going to just copy this command and then paste it here and then press enter and then press y and then press enter which is going to start installing pg admin let's see if there is any other command you have this uh, option to install the pg admin desktop also you have the option to uh, install pg admin web right so if you want to install both you can give both these commands also uh, for the configuration for the pg admin web you can give this command also so we are going to give all these commands one by one once that uh, previous command is successful okay so this previous command is successful so we are going to give the next command to install the pg admin desktop and then press enter and that is done so now i can give the next command to install the pg admin web and then press enter and that's also done and then we can just execute this sh script to configure the web uh, interface i can give uh, the email address uh, for now and then the password i'm going to uh, give a very simple password here to remember uh, the login right so just remember that password which you have given retype the password and it should be six characters so let me give the six character password retype it and hopefully that will be successful and then press y here and then press y and everything is successful so now i can open the pg admin on my browser using this link you can just click on this link or you can copy this link and paste it into your terminal, right? So you can see the PG admin is starting on my web browser. You need to give the same uh, email and password which you have given at the time of configuration, right? Which is given here, right? I have given this email 
and the password right so let me just copy this email by the way this is a fake email which i have given so if you want to send me an email it will not reach me if you send me on this email and then i'm going to give the password and then click on login and i'm logged in to my pg admin you can see now let's try to open the pg admin desktop application just go to the applications and then search for pg admin and then click on this pg admin desktop and it will also start right so let's open this desktop version both look similar you can see right so you can use either of them to uh, register a server you can just right click on server and then click on register and then click on uh, server let's connect to the local host so it's uh, 127.0.0.1 the default port is 5432 for uh, the postgre right as you might remember here by the way i need to give the name i can give any name here for now i'm going to give local host so that i can remember which server is this here i need to give 127.0.0.1 which is local host uh, as you might remember we have logged into uh, our uh, pg uh, uh, psql shell using this username which is postgres right now the password here uh, i haven't set any and by default the password is postgres here right so give this password here which is postgres and if it fails let's try to set a password so go to your terminal and here once again i'm going to switch to the postgres uh, username and then i can give the psql command here right so either you can give this psql command or uh, you can uh, give the create db command as i said to create the db here you can uh, change the default password by giving this backslash uh, password command so i'm going to just give backslash password and then space i'm going to just raise hde and then press enter and then i can give the password for this sde user right but i haven't created any uh, sde user i want to uh, do this for the postgre user right so let me just uh, once again give uh, this command and then so because i'm giving the postgre user uh, name here i need to give password for the postgre user so just give backslash postgre here and then give the new password i'm going to set the very simple password here and then retype it again and then press enter and it's set and let me just try that password here which i have set and then press save and now it works right so in order to change the password for postgre you can give this command and give your password and remember that password and use the same password in order to uh, connect to your local host uh, server for postgre user now you can create all these databases this database we have created using the command line right so you have this uh, database and then here you can create the schemas and tables and other things i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video